What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, um, so many more uh, details are starting to come in in regards to today's blockbuster news, and that is, of course, that Kevin Durant requested from the owner of the Brooklyn Nets to be traded from the team. Um, there have been some rumblings that maybe this was showing some breakup, some friction in the friendship between Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Of course, the media, the old style media, ESPN, Fox Sports, are very desirous in seeing two black men uh, argue with each other, uh, be angry with one another. Apparently, that's not the case. Um, I think what happened is that Kyrie Irving and KD had somewhat long ago decided that they can't win with this team. They decided they couldn't win with this team, so apparently, I guess Kyrie, well, KD probably told Kyrie to go get your money. Don't just leave $30 million, $30 million uh, sitting on the table. And the only reason why they agreed to uh, give Kyrie the 30 million is because they thought that that would secure uh, Kevin Durant. So you could say that they swindled the team, whatever. At the end of the day, I think those two figured that uh, they couldn't win with this team. So it's looking like, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, that both of these guys have played their last games with the Brooklyn Nets. It looks like the two most likely teams, even though reports are saying that over half the league in the last hour have inquired about trading for KD, over half of the NBA, it's like the two most likely teams will be the Phoenix Suns and the Miami Heat. Uh, Phoenix has the right pieces to make a straight-up trade. I guess with Miami, it's going to take more dialogue. Um, but, of course, that's one of the main problems that Miami has. They have an awesome defense, um, but... It's just that offensively, sometimes they just struggle. So, um, you know, that makes great sense to have a guy like KD on the team. But it remains to be seen what happens uh, as the hours go on. But it looks like these two guys have played their last game with the Brooklyn Nets. So, you know, if that's the case, man, I say this, it's perfect karma for Ben Simmons. It's perfect karma because you sit on your fucking ass, think you'll get an easy fucking ring, faking mental illness, and now you've gone from being on a team with an MVP candidate and Joel Embiid to being on a team with two future Hall of Famers and you didn't want to show any he didn't show any um, inclination to come out of your comfort zone to, you know, put the team ahead of your own self-interest. So they got the fuck up out of there. So anyway, tell me what you guys think.